Daddy Ad's birthday. We're setting up. She didn't know we were showing up, but now we're here. Gonna get ready to turn up, pull up, and do up like we always do, kids. You know why? Because I am the show. Welcome to the party. What up, party people? What's going on? Welcome to Sober Cowboy. How you doing? Good to see you back here on the blog. Friday morning, getting it started early. I'm getting ready to head out to the gym because I'm here all day today. Usually I have to go head into the office, but this weekend we're headed down to the shore, going down to Rehoboth Beach. Megs and family are going down for beach week. I'm only going for the weekend because I got things to do. So they're gonna head down to the beach. I'm gonna go down for the weekend. Tomorrow, we got a big event going down. A little surprise for our girl, Addie Ads. Yeah, she's having a birthday party and I told her I'd make her a playlist. Nah, I'm not making a playlist. I'm gonna show up and rock that bad boy. So, what's up, Mikey? There's Mikey, my neighbor. <laughs> He's over there doing it. So, that's what we're doing, kids. And then Sunday, coming back here and get ready for next week. It's always crazy as always. As always, if you guys haven't done so, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends and tell your friends about things because it's about to go down, kids. We're going that way. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Bad myself, I sting damn patty. Gotta keep on chugging. Ran through everything in front of me. Might smoke bed in heaven. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get a hit, so bump that. Alright, he's rolling out the gym. Pump procured. Ready to roll. Get ready for the weekend. I'm excited. Headed down to the beach, so head back home. Get packed, because, you know, your boy is never prepared. I never actually do things in advance. Like, Megan's been packing all week. I'm gonna go home and, like, start packing, because that's what I do. So we can roll out here later on. All right, let's head back to the crib. All right, kids, here it is midday update. Megs and the Perez just rolled out. They're heading down to the beach already. I gotta hang around for another few hours. Got some more work to do. Load up the car, get ready for tomorrow's gig. Cause I haven't done that yet either. <laughs> totally not prepared for anything. So I gotta pack my bag, start loading things up, get ready to head out of here. Ten to times to roll around like three-ish. Maybe, we'll see how it goes, with how busy work is and when I got hopping. So, this is where we at. So we're gonna hang out and then get ready to roll out. All right, kids, we made it. We are here, we have made it to, boom, my favorite place, Atlanta Liquors, here in Rehoboth. Gotta go check this bad boy out. I'm gonna grab some supplies for the weekend if I'm gonna make it to this bad boy. A little sketchy there, it only took four hours. Only four hours. It's usually like a three hour trip, but traffic sucked. So, we're going here, grab some booze and head over to the house and see what the kids are up to. house rolling here through these kids are up to and i think we're going out to paradise grill or some crap tonight i don't know it's gonna be a super show so let's roll and see what's up all right kids so we made out to uh where we at paradise girl is this place called i don't know what it's called all right paradise girl this is megan's birthday spot we come here every year it's for her birthday, birthday. yeah so we go for a birthday every year okay. and so this is where we're at yeah kids uh i need to find trash can toss this can back over there as usually can so we're gonna roll up here and see what's popping up in this jam.
like this. We're here, uh, hanging out, and we're at Paradise Grill. Is that what's called? Paradise Grill. And Paradise Grill. Grill. And at the Pot Nets. Oh, I thought that was like a sponsor. Is that actually called? Is that actually called the Pot Nets? Pot Nets is like a, it's a mobile home park. Oh. <laughs> we have the trailer park. That's where we're at. We hang out in the trailer park, so that's what we're doing right now, kids. In Delaware, they're bougie. They got, they're worth like two hundred thousand dollars. That's not bougie. I'm worth two hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I mean, that's nice, but it's not bougie. I'm worth two hundred thousand dollars. A mobile home. I don't have a mobile home, but I'm worth $200,000. I'm telling you, a mobile home. Oh, a mobile home here costs $200,000. I'm not buying no shit here. It's called the Pot Nets, kids. We're hanging out. It's Megan's birthday, so we're drinking. That's what we do on Megan's birthday. Let's go. All right, good morning, kids. It is Saturday morning, up early, out getting some B-roll and stuff for the vlog and everything ready. Megs is still sleeping. Last night didn't work out like we thought it would. Yeah, that was the whole situation. Night got cut short by a uh, disagreement. Needs to say we were only out for about an hour, hour and a half maybe, and then things started to go south and we had a bit of a disagreement and so came back early. Anyway, so today's a new day. It's up, we're getting things ready. Oh, well, I'm getting things going. I'm making sleeping in. Hey, she's on vacation. I'm not mad at her about that. So. Needs to say, like I said, just trying to do something productive and grab some B-roll, get a little morning cardio in. Uh, while everyone else is still chilling and figure out what we're going to do for the day. I'm sure they're going to wind up going to the beach. So I'll probably just hang at the house and maybe do some mixes, tune up some things, get some things ready. So for the big party tonight. So, you know, this is where we're at, kids. Let's go inside and see if Meg's up yet. All right, kids, here it is. One of my favorite places when we come down to Rehoboth. Go along that deli. Look at the size of that sandwich. That bad boy is massive. Wait till I get this home and show you all the goodness is inside of this. Let's go on this. Time to head back to the house. Took a little bit of a wait. I must say, you got to call this place early. Get here early. A little small place. People that are working their butt off. But it, it's worth the wait. I'm ready for this. All right, kids. Like I said, we are here at the beach house. I figure, you know, I always do my hotel tours when I stay places. So I might as well do a tour of the beach house so you guys can see this and how this is going down and the pretty nice pad that the uh lutz family happens to procure every year so let me uh hook you up on that let's do a little tour kids all right so coming in we got the kitchen set up fridge stove sink dishwasher dining room area with the 10 person dining room that's what's up come on into the living room one couch, two couch, that's glorious. Another couch, yep. Oh, you gotta have the fireplace. And of course, the nice big 42 inch TV. Going on out here, got the little outdoor screening porch area and some stuff outside. I'll show you that in just a sec. First bedroom's in here, that's Mom and Paul's. I can't take you in there, but trust me, the bedroom in there. We got our first bathroom downstairs. Check this out. Boom. Washer, dryer, pretty butter. Pretty butter. Yup. So maybe we should go upstairs. First bedroom. Uncandy Uncle Mike are chilling here right now. So that's their room. Got the secondary bedroom. Turn the lights. Which you could turn the lights. Secondary bedroom, not too bad, not too bad. Pretty crispy. Let's go on down the hall, see what we got. All right, we're gonna make it into our first bathroom, or sorry, second bathroom, rather. Boom. Sink, toilet, full tub, shower. That's what's up. Lots of space in here. Like, I don't know if I can even get in and get you a full glimpse. There's lots of space in that bathroom. Across the hall, it's Presley's room, kids' room. It's pretty butter in here. It's a big, big room. You can see it's got the four bunk beds. Where's the lights at in here? I should turn these lights on, these bad boy. Make it a little more drippy. There we go. Show some light on the subject. Boom. Got the nice 
overlook of the downstairs. That's the thing. Come around here, got, got a couch, and a nice 42 inch TV. That's what's up. Move on down the hall, kids. Time bathroom. Yep, it's got another bathroom. Shower. Toilet. Right there. What up? Rocking that. Come across the hall. Bad boy. Another bedroom. Boom. Take a look around. Nice full size bed. Not a bad little room. And finally, good order. This is our room. Nice deep red color. Great view of outside. There you go. What up? 32 inch TV. Lots of books for reading. All in all, pretty nice space. All right. I think now I'll take you outside. So let's go. Got the patio area out here. Nice little picnic table. Barbecue grill. Bike rack. And brand new this year, a brand new fire pit. Yeah, boy. Gotta give the Let's Crew the props on this one. This is a pretty good find, not gonna lie. And it's kinda nice, cause the whole family fits down here. You know, people drop in and out throughout the week. I'm only here for the weekend this year. I do my stay the whole week, but I'm only here for the weekend. And uh, the rest of the family will be dropping in and out the rest of the weekend. So it's gonna be a good time. So, sorry about this. I'm gonna eat some food, cause I haven't eaten today. Then we're gonna get ready. Maybe we'll hit the pool real quick before we leave. We gotta head over to Megan's brother's house and get ready to rock the party tonight for Addy Ads. So that's what we're doing, kids. Welcome to the weekend. You know I love it. All right, crew. So uh, feel free to hate me right now because I told you I'm gonna give a shot of that sandwich once I busted it open and had it all ready to go. But I just devoured into it. <laughs> I hate the whole thing. But then I realized I was like, oh crap. I didn't get a shot for the vlog. I totally messed that up. <laughs> I wish I could have gave you so you could have seen the beauty of that sandwich. It was fantastic. If you guys are ever down here in uh, Delaware, go to Long Neck Deli. It's a popular spot. I mean, like I said, I rolled in there. There's probably about 10 people, maybe 15 people in there when I rolled in there. Half an hour wait to get two sandwiches, kids. You just got to roll with it. I mean, that's how they do they have a phone number. You can try to call ahead. Good luck getting through. We've been out here, what, three years? I've gotten through one time in the three years we've been down here after trying like four times to make it. Like they don't even answer the phone. They don't have to because it's that crazy in there. People come in there and order like 10 sandwiches at a time. So like I said, these people know their stuff. They know good sandwiches and it's delicious. So I highly suggest it if you guys are ever in the area. All right, kids, because we are the best kind of human beings, this is what we do. Uh, we're going to get margaritas before we go to this birthday party. Because <laughs> it's my birthday. Because it's Meg's birthday. So we're going to get margaritas. And chips and guac. And I couldn't really say no because it's Meg's birthday. So we're going to show up late and liquored up. That's what we do best. <laughs> Just, <laughs> if it wasn't a family event, I'd give a hard, strong no to this. But it's family. It's fine. They love us. We'll, we'll be there. Let's right. go. Oh. Hey, look, Ma, we made it. All right, kids, we made it to the Lutz compound. And look, the giant pole barn. Look at that thing. That thing's huge. <laughs> Megan's brother has a giant barn in the back of his house. It's baller. So we're partying there tonight. Daddy had his birthday. We're setting up. She didn't know we were showing up, but now we're here. Going to get ready to turn up, pull up, and do up like we always do, kids. You know why? Because I am the show. Welcome to the party. <laughs>
good Sunday morning. <clears throat> Just left out of the uh, Long Neck Diner. What's your feel about that? It's good foods. I think you're a solid like six out of ten. Yeah, my Bloody Mary was good. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. The, uh, Just normal diner serv breakfast food. Service is not horrible. A little slow. I was kind of upset the six top next to us came in after us and got their food before we did. That was kind of annoying. Yeah, our waitress was a little grumpy too. She is a little grumpy too. And the turkey sauce is a little rubbery, but whatever. You know, it was cheap. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's still standard diner cheap, so can't we can't complain too much. One outweighs the other sometimes. All right, so now I'll take Megs to the grocery store so she can get stuff for her mom, and then I'm heading up out of here, head back to M Town, and get ready for next week. All right, kids on the road, on the move, headed back to M Town. Just dropped Megs off back at the beach house, grab some groceries, and say goodbye to everybody. Sad, true. Tell me a little different be in the house all week long without these guys being around here. Used to the girls being there, but you know, you gotta get things done. You gotta make choices and decisions and prioritize things for the good of everybody else. And honestly, to me, sitting around a beach house when I don't really like to go to the beach is <laughs> kind, of kind of a waste of time. So. I'd rather be at work, being, produ being productive, getting things done, back in the house, getting ready for big birthday bash next week and other things, and stacking up some checks. So that's my deal. Head on back to the house here and then move from there. All right, kids, so here's a kick-ass little update. Finally made it back home to the homestead here in uh, M-Town. Everyone's good. Got home, went to open the fridge, throw my groceries in there, Luke warm air. Let me say that again. Luke warm air. Yeah. So apparently my refrigerator is not working. Yeah. So that's a whole situation. So I had to rush around and try to save all the groceries that were still semi good in there. Take them upstairs. Luckily enough, we, we have two apartments. So there's a second refrigerator upstairs. So I had to move everything to the upstairs refrigerator. But yeah, we used to say we lost a lot of food. So half our food in our fridge is probably bad. I had to toss that all out. I have a whole hot trash can now of food that's, uh, I don't know if I can even, yeah, whole hot trash can of food that I just tossed out. Fantastic. It was definitely working fine on Friday when I left, but now that I'm back, <laughs> yeah, that's not working. And I came home on top of that. My, my beautiful zucchini plant that was producing those nice zucchinis that you saw on Instagram. Those, that's also wilted. Look. It has not been a good weekend. <laughs> I'm trying to make the best of it, but it has not been a good weekend. Needless to say, I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to make it, kids. But you know what it is. You know what I say. You always got to push on and push through. So we'll figure it out. We'll get it done. And we'll make things happen because that's what we do today. So let's keep moving. All right, well, kids, I tried to uh, get hold of the girls to make this more official, but the girls are... They're at the beach. I'm here doing what I do best. So <laughs> that's what it is. I'm going to shut this bad boy to myself. All right. So you know what it is? It's dinner time. Dinner time is my time, a.k.a. our time. That means your time. It's time to come to an end. So I'm going to shut this bad boy down. And in the vlog for this week, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. Here uh, on the YouTube, it's an important situation. I get so many good comments and have so much fun on here. So please, always drop a comment, uh, drop a like. If you guys have anything you want to talk about, you want to see about, anything I'm not talking enough about, I'm glad to tell you about here at Cowboy HQ and on the road where I'm out doing things. So we appreciate each one of you guys tuning in every week and trying us out and hanging us out with us. So. I guess I'm out of here. Uh, you should always tell me. <laughs> you should tell me praise and everything else. But no one's here. So I got nothing else. So let's do it. Let's do two up. I'll do two down. And I'm out. Peace.